Welcome to the Illinois Green Industry Association Grower Tour, where Grower Talks recently saw a 100 inch tree spade in action. Now, we've sped up that action uh, about four times during some of the videos, so you can see uh, this 10 minute transplant process take place in just a few. Now, this tree spade is the biggest one in Illinois, the only 100 inch tree spade in the state. The only way you can go any bigger is a 120 incher. Apparently there's only two of those in the country. Now this tree spade is about to transplant an autumn blaze maple with a nine inch caliper and about a 25, maybe 30 foot height on it. And as again, as, as I said, in about 10 minutes. First thing the workers do is make sure the branches are out of the way as the uh, spades close down around it. The operator gets ready to go, make sure everything's good. It'll turn on the water because it's important the tree is uh, saturated and that uh, the spades have some uh, moisture to help lubricate them as they work their way into the soil. And then he just simply starts working the spades in one at a time, back and forth. And it's quite a dance. This is really an art form. Uh, the owner of the tree spade told us this $200,000 machine is pretty much trying to tear itself apart uh, from the minute it leaves the factory and a good operator can make sure it lasts a good long time and this is definitely a good operator. I should mention that we are at Grow Enterprises of Union, Illinois. We had about uh, 40 or 50 or so uh, tree and nursery and landscape folks along for the day-long tour. This was uh, our first stop of the day and it was quite an opportunity to see this tree spade in action. She's just about ready to come out of the ground now and uh, worker just cleaves off just a few of the roots that remain clinging. Root ball weight? Any guesses? How about about 15 to 16,000 pounds? Quite a big operation. Grow Enterprises actually wanted to transplant this in another spot of the field in kind of a, a hedgerow along display area they have of larger trees. So they pre-dug a hole with the same truck, of course, and it's just a matter of parking it right in the right spot, dropping it in position, 